I was once a jolly ploughboy. I was ploughing up the fields all day. When a sudden thought came to my mind that I should roam away. No more. To How did you first get into volunteering? <laughs> um, I first got in because of this show. <laughs> I got the job from drama school. So that you you were completely new to puppeteering before? Yeah, we did a little bit, to be fair, actually, like within the training at drama school, like a week. Well, I didn't really, I didn't really know anything about it. So, the same case for you guys? Um, slightly different. I'd done a bit of puppetry before. Um, it wasn't my training. I trained as an actor, and then uh, just I did one or two jobs, um, which, which involved puppetry. Uh, and then, uh, and then, and then, and then came up, which I auditioned for. So a bit of I've been uh, I've been following a bit since I was fifteen. Okay. And uh, uh, I actually had the same training as Dave who went to the same drama school. Okay. But, uh, so I did a little bit of drama school and then since leaving drama school almost everything I've done. <laughs> <laughs> so how you, you how long have you all been involved with War Horse? Good few years, yeah. <laughs> Is it physically exhausting? Starts off like that, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. It's never been like a walk in the park, but uh, it's comfortably tiring. Yeah. It's a good way to yeah, you get it. you get used to the feeling of it, and after a while, yeah, it stops being exhausting, and it's just sort of I don't know. Yeah, like you say, it's sort of you get used to the feeling of it, and so it becomes a sort of recognisable kind of tiredness. I think I'm, kind of I'm always <laughs> exhausted. <laughs> 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 And you can see, like at the end of the show, when they see us three finally, yeah. you see that you know we're all sweaty and tired. <laughs> I think that I think it, certainly when I first saw the show, you do realise just how just how much is going to that. Like, it, is, it is hard work to make uh, to make the horses real. Yeah, I remember watching it, seeing the horse puppeteers take bow, and be like, man, they work hard. Yeah. <laughs> so when when you're actually in the and you're moving, it, are you no longer individuals? You're then called Joey and respond as Joey. Yeah, I mean, they, Tom Morris, who directed the show, um, he a while ago said that he found himself in uh, in rehearsals. Asking Joey to move around somewhere, they say, "Oh, can Joey just come and move forwards?" And being surprised at himself, but he started just talking to people about the puppeteers and the puppet as one unit. But it makes sense in a way. It's, you know, he is a character, and he is. You know, if you want him to move over there, there's no point in saying, "Dave, Stuart, Mikey, can you move over here, please?" <laughs> we know what you mean, and we know how to respond as Joey as a whole. So is there anything, because obviously you've been doing the show in one theatre for a while, is there any difficulty or anything you're looking forward to taking it on tour? I think the show will be really different um, in, in, in each venue it visits, you know. We've been to so many different different cities around the UK um, over an 18 month period, so inevitably in every, every venue it lands in, it's going to open up new doors and we're going to find new interesting little, little things in the show but maybe you didn't didn't notice before in the previous venue. So it's going to be uh, really good to keep it fresh and alive. It's going to be really good.